Recent events beg the question, are we seeing the return of Islamic terror attacks across Europe? Now, I guess you could say in response to this, they never really went away, they just went quieter. But we did, a few years ago, have endless terror attacks, seemingly every month somewhere in Europe, and some of them were completely savage. Now, many of the attacks we've had were so major, it meant minor ones got largely forgotten, like this one in France, which I thought was highly symbolic. A Catholic priest had his throat slit. I find it hard to believe this one would be forgotten in the same way if it was another religion, but that was truly terrible. But back to present times, after the attack at a diversity festival in Solingen, Germany, in which three people were killed in a mass stabbing, it turns out Islamic State have apparently taken responsibility. On top of that, about a week ago we had an army chaplain who was stabbed at a barracks in Galway. Now the media in Ireland and the UK were quite eager to play that one significantly down. All the BBC states is the guard I say terror motivation is a line of inquiry. Given our authorities are normally desperate to tell us when it's not terror, you'll have to make of that one what you will. But as I have to make clear in Keir Stalin's Britain, that one hasn't been confirmed because the guy who apparently stabbed the chaplain is under 18 and can't be confirmed who he is. But the Guardian do state the guard I believe the boy had been radicalised online and bore a grudge about Irish peacekeepers in the Middle East. So again, make of that what you will. And then more recently, we had an explosion outside of a synagogue where a man opened fire on police. And apparently, according to the BBC, he was carrying a Palestine flag. So again... Make of that what you will. Now, you might think that Keir Starmer is trying to cozy up to the Muslim community in the UK after his recent statements after the riots. Famously, he stated after the UK riots that he wanted Muslims to feel quote-unquote safe, but for some reason he didn't want the wider British community to feel safe after children had been murdered. And despite our dear leader cozying up to the Muslim community, that's not going to be nearly enough for them. They have an ideology that they're under attack and a victim group and so on, but most importantly, Starmer backs Israel. Henceforth, that's going to make him highly unpopular. Now, what this could mean is that the more radical members of the religion of peace that have settled in these lands decide that Starmer and his government and the UK in general are an enemy because they're supporting Israel. And on that note, I've seen some commenters here say I'm pro-Palestine and some say I'm pro-Israel. To be honest, I've never really shown an anti or pro-bias to either. I will admit I do feel very sorry for the Palestinian children. Some of the images coming out of Palestine are absolutely harrowing. But personally, I don't want to be involved in these Middle East skirmishes. My main concern is the UK and Europe at the moment. However, that we are seemingly involved say something about the power structure of the world, and that's all I can really say on that. However, maybe I'm living in a fantasy myself in not wanting to be involved in Middle East politics. After all, there are so many people from the Middle East in Europe now, they're going to make it part of our politics whether we want it to be there or not. So, Starmer's Stasi, I'm not saying these conditions are definitely going to lead to terror attacks and so forth. I'm saying that it looks like we're setting up a bit of a tinderbox and things could get more dangerous in the near future. And also, just before I end, I know there's been lots of dark news recently, and I hope it's not too preachy, but it is Sunday, and I hope you can find some time to rest, to rejuvenate and recover away from the noise of the world. So do take your dog for a walk in our beautiful countryside, have a glass of wine, go for a run, spend time with the family, whatever it is that rejuvenates you. We still have that freedom, and I think it's very important for our psychological health and the future of the country that we build. Vitality, health, and connection with our past and future is the key, in my view, but anyway, rant over. These are just some of my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think down below, and do consider subscribing to the channel.